We're here with Peter Campbell, the Assistant Secretary of the West Wyalong Club, and it must be a pretty important year this year for the club. Our centenary year this year, yeah, uh, 100 years tomorrow actually, since uh, the first game of rugby league was played in West Wyalong. Genuinely a rugby league town, um, and it has had the spirit of, I suppose, the original players who were miners um, in the gold fields here back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, sport is very big in this town, like it is in a lot of country towns, but uh, our club uh, has been the way it is now with the spirit that it's got pretty much from where, right from day one. The, the traditional rivals West Wallen and Lake Angelico are playing today, Lakes United, we refer to them as. Um, they're our nearest neighbours, only just over 100 kilometres away. And uh, over the years, since the early 30s, uh, we've had a uh, intense but friendly rivalry with them. Um, and it's always probably our biggest gate every year, our game against Lakes. Uh, and, uh, but it's played in the right spirit. Come on, watch out. They get up and play the ball back now. They swing it out from the blind side on the wing. It's a very rare thing when you come to the football to have the man still with us who the ground is named after. And we're very lucky today to have Ron Crow with us. How are you, Ron? Good, thanks. Yeah, very good. Mate, yeah. how does it feel to have a ground named after you? Well, I keep coming back here all the time, see? <laughs> I more or less live... Well, I'm going away, I go away a lot. Mm. And then I come every, any time they, they have a game like this. I come back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I, I made a lot of my mates playing rugby league. It's a great sport, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. I love going there. <laughs> Even the little few kids come there. I, 100 years and you played back here uh, all through your career and represented the mighty South Sydney Rabbitohs in the That's early 60s. That's exactly right, yeah, Old South. I, I still like Old South <laughs> Sydney. Yeah, they're good. The batting roots uh, root for Mallee 3, it's got to be 9 kilos and uh, no, a minimum of that and it has to have a uh, no longer than an 8 inch uh, stem, otherwise it'd be unfair advantage. And um, it's, uh, you've got to be a bit careful with Mallee roots, uh, selecting them is pretty hard to find a good Mallee root around these days, but um, uh, Ron Pillen found these and he ended up winning the event, so it shows if you've got your own root, you know what you're doing. One of the arch enemies of West Wyland is Lake Cargelligo and we've got one of their youngsters here, one of the young guns. He was also the captain of the under-16 Corey side, Jaden Clark. Brothers, how many tries did you score today? Ah, uh, I scored 12. 12 tries? Yeah. How many games yeah. did you play? Two. 12 tries in two games. Yeah. Who's your favourite club? Uh, I always support Newcastle, so yeah, I want to go down there, but I want to just be in the city. Well, I'm not so much in the city. I'm just country boy, so I want to just go somewhere where it's nice, easy going. It's going to be a massive year for the for the town. So a lot of uh, ex players from around this area have come back to um, finish their career off for us. For us, so it's going to be big. We've had a pretty good pre-season. We got to the semi-final in the Wollong knockout, and um, we uh, we lucked out in the Group 20 knockout. But we're going on right. community towns like this. Um, rugby leagues are a big part of the town. It gives um, gives the town something to do, I guess, on a weekend and bit of interest in the for the club. Good. Well the curtain closes here at Ron Crow Oval. West Wyalong victorious in their first match of the centenary year against arch rivals Lake Car It was a fantastic day and looks like they're on the way for a great season for their centenary year. Stay put, you're watching Banfoot.